Hello, my name is Misa Ashir and I'm going to be telling you about the children books I have written. I started writing my book Ihsan, the third and spiritual branch of Islam when I was a medical st student uh, in 2005-2006 which is this book. However, since it's 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 a large project. I then started writing children books and I published these books on lulu.com however I, I became a bit shy of my work especially after my dad Gassim uh, Sheikh Al-Mayzoub he found out about them in Sudan and I became very shy and I deleted my product projects uh, even though they sold, they did. Somebody did buy about um, four of them for around seven pounds sterling each. So, um, however, I, I do have. A, I then published these. I printed them using a printer here in uh, in Britain called CPI, and the L Sony Vi Vi Vio laptop that I was working on. I think it um, it. It had a problem and, and I think I lost the files. So if I'm going to get these books back online and for people to buy in and for them to be sold, it's going to be taking a while. And however, since I'm going to, I want to get married to my cousin and have children, therefore it's very likely these books will be made again and, and be sold. And I'll tell you about the books. There's around six of them and they're about animals in, animals in the Quran. And these books, the first one is called The Unlucky Cat and it's about a cat that is uh, told in the Hadith and this book is about that eating pig is haram or forbidden uh, not a sin or, and not allowed in Islam and this book is about the creation of God. It tells children about who God is. Uh, little children, they have the ability to recognize names and relate them to a certain thing. And when they hear the word Allah, I wanted them to know who Allah is and what is meant by Allah, which is the creator of the world. And I wrote this book and it's called the Wadu and it's about the story of Hassan and Hussein the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, grandchildren uh, who are mentioned in, in the Hadith from his daughter Fatima and uh, the story is, uh, is quite famous it's about how they taught an old man how to make proper wadu and this book is about a deer that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him allowed to return to its new babies to feed them in mercy and kindness and this book is about the fish of King Sul Suleiman who was a prophet and he was a king from the tribe of Beni Israel and it's about how when he lost his kingdom that he used a, a ring as a signature and when he lost his, his ring it was stolen by a demon uh, a spirit and he threw it at the end uh, to the sea or the river the ocean and King Suleiman he became a fisherman and and he carried fishes and things and he was given a fish where he found his ring that held the secret to his kingdom it's a story that Prophet Muhammad used to interpret uh, a verse in the Quran about the, kin the kingdom of King Suleiman and and these are the, the six books I've written for children. I will tell you a bit about the books. Now this book is called Who is Allah and explains to kids basic Akida. It's written by me, Mesa Ashir. Now you can see the printing is really good. It's from a, a printer that is used by, by proper books um, called CPI and I was going to publish it under the publisher Musk, Musk standard which I registered for 
getting ISBNs to sell my books and this one is called Who is Allah? and I made the illustrations, the drawings it says the one who made the trees the one who made the sun the one who made the fish the one who made the sky the one who made the grass the one who made the sheep the one who made the apple the one who made everything and I intended to tell children and, and this picture it has all the different pictures of the trees the apples, the fish, the grass and the sheep and the sky and the sun to tell children that the basic idea of God is that God is the creator of the things in the world and since children are themselves new to the world it is proper not only to introduce children to the world but to also introduce the world to children and the most important thing is of course God and this book who is Allah explains to children who Allah is now this book is called The Unlucky Cat and I, I illustrated it as well all my books on children are illustrated by me and I used a program called, um, I, I usually use uh, Paint that was on Microsoft. However, I use Toon Boom, I think, for, for these ones. And it's a, it's a really good program. It's used to make cartoons and, and um, motion animations. Mm -hmm. However, I did draw these on, on, the, on their good program. And you can see it's very high quality. Um, and when I went to study at Bolton University at first I wanted to study illustration and graphics and things like that and drawings and I showed the teacher the professor my work and he, he was impressed by this picture he said um, of, of the cat behind the bars obviously because the story is about an unlucky cat that is mentioned in the hadith and it's about teaching children uh, how to care for tr for animals and and being kind to animals as are the teachings of Islam and I use this this book to teach children about the story of an unlucky chat that I knew about since I was a little girl and it's about not being unfair to animals and the story goes the Prophet peace be upon him said there was a lady who owned a cat she did not take care of the cat she did not feed the cat. She locked the cat away until it died. So God will send the woman to hell for it. This is a hadith by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, about a woman who locked a cat without giving it food and freedom until it died. And that it's such a great sin to God that the woman will be, she will go to hell for her mistreatment of the animal, the cat. Now I use the bars to show that the cat is and, and a drawing a simple drawing of a cat to show that the cat has been locked it's it's a sad story but it does tell children the importance of life and the importance of kindness to animals in Islam and in this is is an undirect way of saying kindness towards children as well who are quite small in size and to say there will be people will be kind to cats and small animals he also says generally uh, about being kind to children and small children especially uh, this book is called that's haram and it's a, it teaches children about simple islamic law that some things are considered not allowed by god that they are sin they can be punished for them in hellfire obviously children in islam are not they're not accounted until they reach puberty and, and they're sane and however this book is about teaching children what's not allowed and I used the picture of a pig which I illustrated as well I drew using Toon Boom and this one is a colour book you can see there's a colour that's from red it says it's that's haram and I drew all of these things wine I meant alcohol and that's haram and haram means a sin and ham, that's haram. Stealing, that's haram. And you can see the hand taken 
a fruit, an apple or a, an orange from a tree anonymously and envy that's haram to go green with envy for something beautiful and expensive such as a nice bag that's haram a lying for instance there's a picture of the stars in yellow but the person in the bubble speech it says the stars are green and and that's lie the stars are yellow here and and that lying that's haram and Hitting someone, that's haram, you know, being violent and just oppressive and not kind and friendly, that's not allowed as well, that's haram. Now this book teaches children what's not allowed and this one teaches them about who God is. And th these are a sample of the books I've written for children using Musk Standard, my publisher, which I made to publish originally my book Ihsan. The third branch of Islam by Mesa Ashir. Thank you for watching.